Michael Kavanaugh. This is Battleship Cove preserving the fleet. I'm a local seven iron worker and a volunteer welder here at the Cove. Today we're on the USS Massachusetts. We're gonna take a look inside our machine shop where our volunteers are making efforts to continue our preservation and restoration of this ship. We're here in our World War II machine shop with another volunteer, Claude Laflamme. He's here using our original 1940s lathe. Claude, can you tell me a little bit about this machine here? Well, we got some pipe fitters doing some work, and uh, they're not machinists, they're pipe fitters, pipe welders, and they needed, they have a cap right here, and they're going to turn it into an adapter, so this brass ring right here, that's actually a piece of pipe. I'm gonna mill it out with this cutter, and then I have to bore a hole in it, and that's gonna become a pipe adapter, and so they can extend the heat uh, in the battleship. So it, it's really wonderful to use these tools that are top notch, top of the line, and I know a lot of uh, small machine shops would love to have this stuff because they, they still use these machines. They do not wear out. Yeah. Oh, can you tell us about some of the levers on this? Well, this one engages the uh, main motor, and then for cutting, um, yeah, this engages the drive. There we go. And that's when you want a nice finished cut. So as this moves along, it's going to cut inside that pipe. So what type of materials could this cut? Uh, right now, I'm uh, machining brass. Uh, but I've done aluminum on this lathe, I've done steel, I've done stainless steel. Uh, it all depends on how you uh, shape your cutter and uh, how hard the stock is. Okay, this is a, a nine inch shaper and it's made for flattening out uh, steel and you would use it to make sure the sides are parallel. Top, bottom, left, right, front, rear. And uh, when I first started as a volunteer here, this is what you call a lantern. It's very similar to what you would find on a, a, a lathe. Basically, this is, does the same thing as a lathe, but instead of on round stock like a lathe does, this uh, will shave it uh, flat stock. So um, at just about the same time as uh, I started volunteering here, I was going through my dad's, uh, my dad was a machinist, I was going through his toolbox, I recently acquired it from my brother, and I found the lantern that was sitting in the bottom of his toolbox. I said, you know, that looks a lot like what this tool needs, so I brought it in. Lo and behold, it was the exact one for the machine. So, we fired it up, and you can see the action that goes back and forth, and then with this uh, lever right here, it will automatically feed. So now it's, it's bringing, if you can imagine, a piece of stock inside this vise. On each stroke, it just brings it this way or that way, uh, 
and you can adjust how much it's bringing, uh, how much uh, of a step it's taking on each stroke. And you can adjust it down to like, I think eight, eight thousandths of an inch step. And what happens is as, as it finishes its cut, it will make it parallel to the, uh, the bottom. And by moving this on a swivel, you can actually get it to uh, make 45s or any angle that you want. And it, it's just a wonderful tool. It runs absolutely perfect. And uh, it's just one of those machines that is gaining popularity again because uh, of what you can do with it, the versatility of it. Uh, it's wonderful for small machine shops. Uh, as you can see, it's a fairly large machine shop as far as space is on a battleship. Yeah, and for back in the day, this was definitely you know, top of the line equipment. Yep. And if, if you broke something at sea, you had to make it. You couldn't call Amazon. Yep. But as you can see, it's a very quiet machine. And I love using it. I'm very lucky to, that uh, this is actually the first uh, planer or shaper that I've ever used. Yeah. Here in our machine shop, this is our original 1942 Westinghouse Flex Arc welding machine. It's 300 amp, 440 volts. We use this welder for everything on board. We've been doing our 5 inch mount restorations with it. I've done many deck repairs, and the majority of our welding processes are used with this machine. Switchboards like these are scattered throughout the ship in various locations. So once this machine is fired up, we can turn power on and turn power off to different circuits so we're not overloading or drawing too much power from our systems. We can have one welder operating at a time, which is kind of an inconvenience at times due to the amount of work and the amount of uh, fabrication and welding that we do need to process. But this one machine has done well for us and we continue to use it. Thank you for watching Battleship Cove Preserving the Fleet Series. Please like, subscribe, comment, share, and if you would like to donate or volunteer, look in the links below where you can find all of those resources. We'll be posting more videos in the coming weeks and following months, so please stick around and follow along as we preserve and restore many of these ships, including the Big Mammy yourself.